Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to use a reusable K-cup on Keurig's latest Keurig machine, the k Sprex Express Essentials. This is sold exclusively at Walmart for $55. I just got it in yesterday and I've been doing quite a few reviews on it and I wanted to show people how to use a reusable K-cup. So I've got the four top best-selling um, reusable K-cups from, from Amazon. And then I've also got the Keurig. This is the Keurig My K-Cup. It says it's the new design. That's because it's got a place for five needles, but you can also plug those holes and use it for single needle Keurig machines. The older one looks exactly like this, but it doesn't have the five holes. And it operates exactly the same way. But these are the reusable K-Cups. This is the iPart. This is Amazon's number one best-selling. This is Perfect Pod. This is number three. This is a little different. And then here we have Deli Brew. It looks identical to this one. And then the Max. The Max Wear. Yeah, this one. These all three look identical. They just, they're almost like copycats of each other. So I won't be doing these two. I'll be doing this one here since these two are the same. And, I, and I'll be checking it the perfect pod. Both these work in this machine really well and even this one does too. So with these reusable K-cups they're the exact same size as a K-cup. So these are the exact same size as a K-cup. K-cups hold two tablespoons of coffee and that's what these can hold too is two tablespoons of coffee. It's got like a wire mesh filter. It's got a place for the needle to go. And then the bottom of it's recessed, so the bottom needle won't poke that, but it'll go in that area right there. What's nice about these K-Cups is you can leave that bottom needle basket in. They just fit like that. There's a place for the top needle to go, and then you just close it and brew it like a normal K-Cup. Now, where the, where the My K-Cup is a little different, so the My K-Cup, it comes with this bracket. We're not going to need this adapter. This is for an older type of Keurig machines. So this thing is quite a bit bigger, as you can see from these reusable K-Cups. So with this one, we open this up. It's got a basket like this. And this is where you put your coffee grounds in. It'll hold a little bit more than two tablespoons of coffee. It holds almost two and a half tablespoons, but not quite. And you put it in there, and then you Start with the unlock position and then you screw it to the lock position and make sure it's down all the way. But with this one, we've got to remove that needle basket is it doesn't fit in there. So we just press up from the, from the bottom. There's nothing sharp at the bottom that's going to get you. The needle's right down in there. So then we, we have this. It's got an arrow and you point the arrow towards like the hinge. So then it just sits in there like this. So you have to replace the needle basket with this K-cup. And then you can close the lid. So this one's a little more work. It does a really good job. It's just you've got to take this out. And then when you want to do K-cups again, you got to put this in. So, and then with these, again, you can just treat it like a normal K-cup. You leave your needle basket in, put it in, and you're ready to go. So I've done a detailed review on this machine I've, I, with using K-cups. This is a very good, very quiet machine. Like I said, Keurig just came out with it, exclusive to Walmart. It's got six, eight, and 10 ounces only. So it's a very basic, but it works really well. Now with reusable K-Cups, you can brew it on a six ounce if you want. I brew mine on eight ounces because two tablespoons of coffee, which is the exact same size as a normal K-Cup, that's what tastes the best to me is eight ounces. 10 ounces is fine too, but it's just a little weak, but you can brew any one of those with these reusable K-Cups. So I do have some paper filters for the reusable K-Cups. Now you don't need a paper filter. That wire mesh will prevent the um, coffee grounds from going into your coffee, but you do get a little bit of sediment. So you'll get a little bit of fine coffee at the bottom of your coffee mug. And if you want to prevent that, you have to put a filter in and then put the coffee in. So here's what a K-cup looks like that I brewed earlier. So on the right here, this is before it was brewed. There's two tablespoons of coffee grounds in a paper filter. And after you brew them, you can see that paper filter turns like a darker color and that prevents that sediment. So you, if you're used to no sediment, 
in your coffee mug, um, that's because K-cups have a filter built into them when you, when you do a K-cup. But, but reusable filters don't have that paper filter, filter built in. You've got to buy these. These are extra. These are pretty uh, simple. They're single-serve paper filters. Now, the My K-Cup, I have not found a reusable filter for this. This cup is such a different design. You know, you can't put these in there. They just, they just don't fit. So, with this, you do get a little bit of sediment. But, again, I don't think sediment's... I don't know if sediments are good or bad for you, but the coffee does taste a little better with sediment. And I'm going to show you that. When we brew this, there will be a little bit of sediment in the coffee. So you can just get ground coffee. It has to be a medium grind. So it may not say medium grind, but it does say filter drip. So this is like for a normal, you know, just a normal coffee maker that people use. I'm going to be using just Folgers Classic Roast ground coffee which is ground at a medium grind. You don't want the coffee too fine. It won't go through the pod and it'll back up. And you don't want it too coarse. You won't get the, the flavor extraction. So Perfect Pod does sell this easy scoop, which is exactly two tablespoons. And these cups are, when you got this scoop, they're pretty easy to fill up. You just scoop it up. It's exactly two tablespoons. You put this lid on. And then it goes right into the cup. One thing I like to tell people to look out for, make sure there's no coffee grounds on the lip. And you just simply close it. So that is very, very easy. Now we come over to the machine. Now we can treat this just like a normal K-cup. We just put it in here. We close the lid. Sometimes you don't want to make, you want to make sure that that's, you don't want to have to force it. Make sure this lid is all the way down. And then you're going to just do an 8 ounce brew. And you can save a bunch of money this way. It's about half the price to brew with a reusable K-cup compared to a, a normal K-cup. Okay, so there we've got a, a eight ounce cup of coffee using our own coffee grounds with a reusable K-cup. Again, these are about 75 cents, 50 cents to 75 cents a piece. And I've done the math, you can brew your own coffee grounds, two tablespoons for about 20 cents, 20 to 25 cents, depending on the coffee. So people ask me how this tastes, it tastes really good. Um, and I've done taste comparisons with it compared to a K-cup and I don't know as much difference. So let's go over cleanup. Be careful, these pods can be hot. So let's open it up. Yeah, they do a really good job brewing the coffee grounds. So you do have a little extra cleanup work to do, um, rinsing this out and everything, but there's what your coffee grounds look like with a reusable K-cup. So now let's brew one with this. This is Keurig's design. I'm going to use the same scoop because it's just so easy to use. Got my two tablespoons, going to put the lid on and then it puts it right in there. You've got a max line, don't fill it above the max. Again, this holds a little bit more coffee, not much. You're going to put it in here. Again, now with this new design, it's got this red thing. This is for the K Supremes. If your Keurig has five needles on top, but make sure this is on for this machine. If this is not on, you're gonna have a big mess. Trust me, I know, because I've done it, and the coffee grounds come out these holes and, and they go into your machine. So we've got that on. Start in the unlock position, push it on tight, and just turn. Make sure it's sealed all the way around. Again, push up, get the basket out. Again, put this, the arrow, there is an arrow and kind of this big notch. And it's gonna go right there. Make sure it's nice and flush, nice and flush, because you don't wanna force this handle. You can break this handle relatively easy. There, nice and easy. So again, here it's your choice. I always brew these on eight ounce, 
but you can brew a 10 ounce or a 6 ounce. Okay, so there you have a really nice cup of coffee. Now there's no coffee grounds in there. You will have a little bit of sediment. I'm gonna show you that sediment in a little bit. But now let's take the pot out. This is the reusable K-cup. Be careful, it can be hot, but you just unlock it, pull that off. You're gonna to have to wash this out because that gets some stuff on it. You just pull this off, that's just an O-ring holding it. And you can see we got a good, pretty good brew process going on in there. So there's the coffee grounds. You do have some cleanup work to do with this one also, but it looks like it did a pretty good job with the coffee grounds. Okay, so let's put the needle basket back in. I always say have it so you can read caution sharp needles and the needle goes towards the hinge and just snap it back in. Now let's do another pod, but this time use a paper filter. So again, these are all three about the same. Even the perfect pod's not too far different. So I'm just gonna brew with these. This is the deli brew. Again, you don't have to use a paper filter, but I am gonna show you that you can use a paper filter if you want. It does make cleanup a little easier. So you're gonna push it in. They come preformed, but you gotta push it down a little bit because you gotta make room for that coffee. So now let's get our two tablespoons of coffee grounds. I like to go just a little bit less than two tablespoons because that paper filter takes up some room. Then you're just going to pump, dump it right in the middle. It's okay if it mounds up a little bit. The main thing here, so you're going to sandwich the paper filter b between the lid, but just make sure there's no coffee grounds here. So we're just going to push this down, make sure it's nice and tight. There's no coffee grounds on the outside of the pod, or they will get into your drink. And there's no coffee grounds under the lip. So now, we can treat this like a normal K-cup. We come over to the machine. We simply just press, put it in there like a K-cup. Press the lid. And again, I like to do 8 ounces. I'm going to do an 8 ounce. So this is a reusable filter, or a reusable K-cup with a paper filter in it this time. To me, it brews exactly the same, except you won't have a little bit of sediment in your coffee. You can see the coffee's coming right out of the bottom of the needle basket. Sometimes reusable K-cups, you will get water coming out around here. That means they're not working very well. That means water's leaking around the top and coming down. You want all the water to come out right here through the K-cup. And some Keurigs, Reusable K-Cups just don't work on all Keurigs, and sometimes different ones work on different ones. And... But I have proven that these work, and I'll show you exactly which brands work on this K-Express machine. So again, be careful. Just gonna lift it up. We're gonna grab the K-Cup. And, and again, these all taste the same. So these two have a little bit of sediment in it. They might taste a little bit better. better. Um, and this is gonna be more like out of a K-Cup. But the main reason you can use these, so say they don't make a cake up with the coffee grounds you like, or if you're trying to save money or be a little more environmentally friendly, these reusable cake ups work really well for that. Okay, so let's go over cleanup. Cleanup is a little easier. You can grab the filter. You do have to clean the lid up a little bit still, but inside is pretty clean. You're still gonna wash the whole thing. But there's the paper filter. So here I've got all three coffees that I brewed. Remember both of these two. This was the one. This was with a reusable K-cup without a paper filter. This was the My K-cup without a paper filter. And this was with a paper filter. So as you're drinking your coffee, you're going to probably notice down at the bottom of your coffee, you do get that's that sediment I was telling you about. Again, I don't know if it's good or bad for you, but 
when I first saw it, it just kind of like, I was wondering what was going on. Cause I'm so used to like coffee out of the normal coffee maker. Most people use paper filters and K cups have paper filters in them. Here's the My K cup. Same amount. Or I do think the My K cup has a little bit more sediment. And let's do the one with the paper filter. Yeah, no sediment. None. You know, the coffee might even look a little darker with the ones with sediment. And if you read online, um, a lot of people swear by the sediment, saying it's just a more richer taste. Now, I do think there is something to that. It does, to me, taste a little more. It's not more bitter, but you do taste more of a, a coffee taste to it. So again, this machine, this brand new machine from Keurig K Express does a really good job with reusable K cups. Now I can't, I have not tried every re reusable K cup, but like I said, the iParts Plus, this is Amazon's number one. The Deli Brew is Amazon's number four. The Maxware is Amazon's number two. The Perfect Pot is number three. And then the My K cup is like, I don't know, it's a little bit farther down, but Keurig really likes this My K cup and it did work really well in here. The things I used was the Perfect Pod Scoop, uh, paper filters. This is Amazon's uh, number one best-selling disposable uh, filters for for K cups, and they're almost identical to uh, Perfect Pod. And you can use your own coffee grounds. Uh, remember, it just has it has to be ground to a medium grind. And again, you do get some sediment in your coffee, so that's just what that is down there. But this is a really nice machine, and it does a really good job with, with both K-Cups and reusable K-Cups. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I've recently become an Amazon an affiliate, so if you, I'm going to put some links for these in my description. If you click on the link to buy them, I do get a little bit of money that helps with um, my future reviews if I buy something off of Amazon. So if you could, please click on those links. Thanks, everybody, for your support. I recently surpassed 3,000 subscribers. I'm just so thrilled for that. Thank you so much. I never, I never thought in a million years that would happen. Everybody's been so nice, leaving nice comments about this. I'm going to keep doing these coffee pot reviews and kind of showing people how to use different coffee things. If you've got any questions at all, like I said, I've got several videos on this machine now. I've got D-Scale, um, Clean the Needles, all kinds of different videos on this machine. I just got it, and I've been doing videos all day on it. And the one thing I'll say, this they've come a long way. So this thing is super quiet and fast. And it's $55. So Keurig has upped their game on their Keurig machines. And I do think these coffees taste really good. Thanks, everybody. If you could, please like and subscribe.